who's the most dangerous human alive right now, Putin. Put his rule on the line with the Ukraine invasion. It's not going well, a pseudo-attempted coup already occurred, and he's slowly losing the faith of his inner circle and the Russian populace. His rule would end if the Russian army is pushed out of Ukraine. He has to win this war if he wants to remain in power and equivalently live. And this guy has control of nuclear weapons. Well, the answer is usually the President of the United States. Whoever that may be at the time. Being dangerous doesn't mean you have to use what makes you dangerous. But to have a giant nuclear arsenal and the entire might of the largest military in history under your direct command, you're a pretty dangerous motherfucker. There's a bunch of ultra-rich tech billionaires around right now, who seem to have the combined intellect of a baked potato and absolutely nobody to stop them from building dick-shaped rockets, planning cage matches or destabilizing entire countries. It's just a question of time before one of them goes really mad. Vladimir Putin between his nuclear saber-rattling, acts of aggression against multiple nations in the past two decades, and the somewhat unstable situation in Russia coup attempt is never good for that, he seems to be the largest threat to both individual lives and geopolitical stability in our present time. Depends. 1v1 unarmed combat? John Jones. Armed combat? Likely some guy you have never heard of from one of the US military's many special operations units. In general? Putin has nukes in a deteriorating situation. Honorable mention to whoever's walking around carrying a super disease. Klaus Schwab. Through the WEF he has a ton of influence on society. He is a prestigious billionaires club that if you don't fall in line you aren't in it. The ability to sway billionaires and politicians is a dangerous weapon. Incapability to harm a lot of people? Whoever runs China or the US at any given moment is the two largest credible nuclear powers. In a capacity of person-on-person -person violence? Probably someone we've never heard of. Biden. The president with the largest nuclear arsenal on the planet is always the most dangerous person. Does not matter the president. The US president will always have enough nukes to end humanity. There are plenty of nuclear-capable nations, but I believe Jinping is the only leader with a following dedicated enough to actually launch a non-retaliatory nuclear strike if he were to suddenly command it. Joe Biden. And before him. It was Trump, then Obama, then Bush. No other person who has lived in the last 80 years has had the potential to cause more destruction and death than a sitting US president. We don't know his name, but he's on the FBI watch list. After he commits a signature atrocity, they will show us all the signs that pointed to him social media, credit card purchases, manifesto, etc. My cousin Randy posts a lot of pictures on Facebook of skeletons riding motorcycles and stuff with captions about how loyal he is but if you betray him he can be your worst nightmare so probably him. Shitty bots accounts that repost ass credit threads in order to advertise their porn accounts. Existentially, a world leader with nuclear weapons codes or some anarchist hacker. X200B. Hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Probably John Jones. X200B. In general, Probably some special forces dude, Biden, and not do much as policies. Any US president is in charge of the strongest military on earth, access to anyone's personal information if they wanted, and access to thousands of nukes. Gotta be a Putin or Kim Jong right? A world defector. But maybe some asshole that does the next 9-11 cause I don't think it would pull the country together like it did the second time in 01. There might be someone out there developing super COVID in their body and not even know it or any mutation of a disease or virus that is highly contagious and has a very high fatality rate. It's gotta be Putin, or Kim Jong-un. Both have the ability to launch a nuke whenever they want. And Putin is probably about as close to actually doing it as anyone has been in a long time. The person who takes over from Trump. Trump was never a danger as his favorite ideology was pop idol. The next far-right person won't be such a fuckwit who only cares about himself. In hand-to-hand -hand combat, probably John Jones as he's displayed the ability to pretty effortlessly defeat some of the other most dangerous men in the world at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Base answer but probably Putin. Or some high-up government officials in Russia. If he wanted to be, Biden would probably be the most dangerous man alive as the US president. BlackRock? The malevolent and avaricious investors behind the demagogues? The facade of contentious politics conceals and pernicious influence that are perpetually distracted by Putin without a doubt. No one can predict what that turkey will do when he finally realizes he's run out of options with the war in Ukraine, but it's not going to be pretty. Joe Biden. He has control of the most advanced military on the planet and can fire off a nuclear bomb at will, 
unlike Putin who needs to hope the generals follow him. Elon Musk. He uses Twitter to spread propaganda. He could crash Tesla cars. He could use all of those satellites to bomb the world. But not beat Zuck in the cage match. Putin. Not only is he losing the war, he's also dying from disease. It wouldn't be ridiculous to think he'd use nukes just because he's got nothing to lose. A human trafficker whom no government investigation agency knows about, and he's successfully trafficking young girls and boys from around the world. Putin, no contest. Starting a war that has killed so many and threatens world stability is easily the most dangerous act in contemporary times. Steven Stiegel I have seen him break 10 bricks just with his whippy ponytail. He can make a satellite fall from space with just one look. The true answer to this question is whoever controls governments and pulls the strings behind the scenes with absolute anonymity. The guy who just caught whatever newly mutated virus from unsanitary living conditions in close proximity to animals. Whoever is the president of the United States. Largest new arsenal. Largest and second largest air forces. Rupert Murdoch. His news outlet has made the Western world the way it is today and it's only getting worse. I don't know about dangerous, but I would say the person with the most power would probably be Xi Jinping. The next asshole to bring work home and by work I mean a geneticist who's working on altered, microbe, viruses. Kim Jong-un. Insane family example. Allegedly fed a family member to animals. Test nukes just to flex. There was this kid in elementary school I knew who used to eat his pears with ranch and enjoyed it. Probably some guy in the middle of nowhere with an undiscovered disease that can wipe humanity out. Putin because he's dying and gives zero fucks about nuking every fucking one of us including his own. Rock on gesture. Lock John Jones in a room with virtually any unarmed person in history and he walks out every time. I know I'm going to get hate for this because this is Reddit but Andrew Date. Guy is horrible. Corporate executives that prioritize profit over human life. Especially defense contractors. Look in the mirror that right there. Nothing is more dangerous than a human in general. Probably someone you've never heard of in the State Department or its Chinese equivalent. John Jones if we're just talking dudes who could handle anyone in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Vladimir Putin is the most dangerous nut job in the world at this point in time. Putin I would guess because nobody can know if he just want to go with a big nuke. Any political leader with access to nuclear weapons. One slip up and it's over. Either Francis Ngannou or John Jones but that question will never get answered. Putin. He's backed into a corner with his life on the line and he has nukes. Those plotting how to take out their anger and rage with their automatic. Skull. Some guy who has the nuke codes that like to kiss and sniff random kids. Putin. He is far too much power for a guy with such a sensitive ego. Klaus Schwab. Bill Gates. Any build back better agenda leader. Zelensky. Putin. He's got his finger on the nuke button and he's a lunatic. Your mother. She could become a black hole if she ate a bit more. Not one person, but the swath of apathetic people who don't vote. George Santos. If he claims to be totally harmless, he's lying. Anyone who cannot distinguish between God's will and their own. Not one for me but the trinity of Putin, Zai, and the NK dude. Some guy you haven't heard of because he wants it that way. My brother. He eats ramen packets without the seasoning. The person who's in charge of everything you say and do. Bill Gates. Trained malaria mosquitoes. Need I say more? My mom when you lose one of her Tupperware containers. Surely the only correct answer here is Chuck Norris. In hand-to-hand -hand combat I'm taking John Jones for now. Rupert Murdoch. Fox News is extremely destructive. 